Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Siri Sims. Today, we're back at the home of Natalie Greenheart, and we're checking out her awesome garden. Currently full of weeds, but she's about to get started on cleaning that up. But do you notice something? She can harvest some of these plants, and there's some thriving plants. When the vegetables and the fruit that you gather in the gardens are thriving, that means that you get mouth-watering veggies. Mouth-watering veggies and fruits can be used to make mouth-watering meals, and that's exactly what Natalie has been waiting for all along. So let's get her started on pulling up those weeds. Man, I still wish there was a mod to make all this glorious weediness into compost, because that would just be so perfect. Now Natalie is still working as a comic book penciler in the art career, uh, just because it, it seemed to suit her. It was available uh, and she needed the money because she tends to spend all of it on plants. Her garden has grown a little bit more by the way. Here are the grapes, which she hopes to one day make some delicious drinks from. And while she's weeding, she also expanded the front garden quite a bit. It just wouldn't be her house if she didn't have it full of plants all over the place. But Natalie's dream all along has been to open up that organic food store. Oh, she did stay home from work today. She stayed home yesterday to tend to the garden, so we'll have to think about it, huh? But you know, that's okay, because she's been thinking about hiring. Uh, she met a sim, Cecilia Watson, who is one of Sydney sims in one of our townies. She's currently unemployed, so Natalie was thinking about hiring her part-time to work here uh, on the f on her little farm. Now, let's see. You know, we might have her do that instead. So, we'll hire Cecilia by inviting her over. Call so. Hey Cecilia, want to make some money? Also, you guys may notice, yeah, Natalie has a ton of people crushing on her. That's what happens when I send her out to community a lot, so, mm, just ridiculous. And you know what, I think Natalie is willing to risk her job at the art store by calling in sick today because she is so close to serving Erica Eureka that mouth-watering salad and being given the $10,000 grant she needs to open up her little store. Now why Natalie? Why focus so much on her and her little store? Well now we have a whole bunch of new sims in the community and they need good healthy food to feed their minds. So let's see. Is Cecilia here yet? Nope, not yet. Now you guys may be wondering, how am I going to hire her part-time? And I'm going to have her come and talk to you. She finally got that gold gardening badge. So now we can talk to the plants and that will raise them up into thriving as well. And after they're thriving, we'll have her harvest. There, see, it doesn't take long to make them happy. Also, there's a ton of ladybugs out because I she's a sim who focuses on organic gardening, yeah? Oh hey, Cecilia just walked herself back here. She's like, I'm ready to work a little bit. So how am I going to get Cecilia to work part-time for Natalie when this is not a business? What are they up to? Yeah, go ahead and chat. Well, I'm going to first turn on... Oops. Full prop testing cheats enable true. We're going to make Cecilia selectable, and now she, as soon as they're ton, done talking, she's going to start weeding. She got here about 9 o'clock, but she hasn't started working yet, <laughs> so we'll see she starts working at 10. And then we'll pay her, eh, what, maybe $50 an hour? We'll give her something, we'll put something into her inventory, since she's a townie, and I don't know if they have anything. There we go. Alright, Cecilia, get started. Meanwhile... Look at all those happy, healthy plants. It does not take long to make them cheerful. I actually have a mod in my game 
so that the talking to plants and the weeding and the planting and everything goes a little bit faster because I just thought it was silly that it took so long to get the plants all cheered up. I got that mod from Mod The Sims 2. Uh, I can't remember who made it right now. That's so cool. She's got her first helper. Fantastic. Cecilia, she met at the floral uh, engineering, the floral engineering um, laboratory or the floral lab. I knew that was going to trip me up. It's just such a long name. Where she went last night and she actually made a couple. Let me dig them out. Daisy clusters. So she made a couple daisy clusters uh, there and she plans on using them to decorate her shop soon. Let's come over here. Oh, you're an unhappy plant. We'll fix that. And I think now that we have a helper here, we can expand her garden even more. Because remember, all the produce that gets grown here is supposed to supply and take care of everybody in Ladesia. That's kind of a big job. So let's expand it out a little bit. And then we can get things planted in just a little bit. We might even have them go on a hike together. After all, she called in sick to her job that she's only keeping to earn money to buy more plants. There we go. And after we talk to this one, we will get started on harvesting all those strawberries. Cecilia can help us plant some new seeds in just a little bit. But yeah, Natalie, as you guys, let's see, we'll harvest individually. Harvest, harvest. Oh, awesome, now she can instruct others in the nature hobby. Fantastic. I gotta take a picture of this because you guys are viewing right here, right now. Natalie is harvesting her very first thriving plant. For a little while there, with as sad as all her plants looked, I really wasn't sure if we'd make it, but here we are. And those will become a delicious salad that she can serve to Eric Eureka shortly. Yay! Cecilia is gaining more hobby interest too. How rewarding. Yeah, I know it's kind of a quiet episode so far. We'll send them both on a hike in a little bit. What's going on over here? Just random sims. Ooh, butterflies! Maybe she should catch some butterflies and put terrariums around. That doesn't seem very much like a her thing to do, though. She's very, like, against caging animals unless they need to be and stuff like that. Cecilia, you're kind of a slow weed puller, but it's a good thing we have our help because everything will go a little bit faster with some help like that. Hi, Cecilia. Now, yep, Cecilia is also a family sim, and I'm going to lock that want to become best friends with Natalie because now she's kind of working for Natalie. I figure we'll pay her in items because I find it interesting. So like I said, Cecilia is working mm, maybe for $50 an hour. And so I would go to probably the decorative item category, because it's huge! And drag it up, and then find like... Whoa, that's only $28. Nope. Need to go much further in. Like, here's a $100 set of bottles! So we can pay her in bottles. It's kind of cute, like a barter system. So then, one day, or a giant slug. That so has to be like on an alien planet thing. Or, you know, a bunch of hab boxes. And it, it's still... It can be sold when I finally have Cecilia become a playable sim, but until then it would just be fun to have all these random things in your inventory that equate payment. I guess they do more of a bartering system here. Whoa! The strawberries are popping back up! I don't recall that. Do you only plant the seeds once? Oh no, a cat! Set the cat, watch out! In fact, we'll send her inside to use the bathroom and everything. 
get away from Seth the cat. Take a sponge bath. Take a break. She finally got her mouth-watering strawberries. And she needs to sell them to the community after she shows them off to Erica Eureka. Cecilia, would you tend to everything? There's a cat present. And it's it's out for Natalie's blood. It wants to get her fur everywhere and make poor Natalie so sick. Shoe cat. I love cats. I do, but Natalie's allergic, so gotta be cautious. Well, she takes a sponge bath, our awesome Cecilia here, whose needs are quickly <laughs> dropping. <laughs> Cecilia might stick around. We will invite Erica over for that salad, and we'll keep Cecilia around. She can share the salad. Evil kitty. Shoe Seth. Very pretty cat, but just can't have any felines around here. In fact, alright. Let's just do this. Let's invite, you know, let's make a party out of it. We'll invite a whole bunch of sims over, and we can have a party. Hey, Cecilia. You go tend to those needs. We'll have a nice party so that everyone can celebrate the fact that they are about to get yummy yummy foods. Straight from this garden. Isn't that awesome? It's just so cool when you know- and nope, not the plant strawberries. We want the mouth-watering strawberries. I don't know how many. I'll put in 12. There we go. Gotta keep the rest of them. For the store. There we go. Yeah, let's have her throw a party. Why not? She'll invite over Erica. She'll invite over... Err, come here, phone. I sense your stubbornness and I criticize you for it. Natalie! There we go. Throw a house party, Natalie. My music is being silly. Alright! Natalie! Why so many crushes, Natalie? You're a very silly woman. We'll invite over Agnes, because she's pretty cool. Erica... I don't know who Chip is, but why not? Oh, hey, that's the neighbor, so we'll invite her over. Any other neighbors? Let's invite the neighbors. Eurekas. Every Eureka that we've got listed. And everyone else. They're townies. What? I really need to download that mod to get rid of maximum party sizes. You can't have. Oh, Hopefully the important ones will show. <laughs> And now it's time for her to serve. Ooh, she, she served super salad. I really think she would serve a salad. Almond mandarin salad. That sounds yummy. And her head is disappearing off to the side of the screen. I'm thinking tomato you know, mozzarella salad. Autumn salad. I think that that almond mandarin salad sounds amazing. So we'll have her make that. Cecilia. I guess you can take a bath. You're all sweaty from working in the garden. Why not? Every step of the way. Are you happy, Natalie? You're finally making the mouth-watering salad that will allow you to open up your store. I love making those kinds of opportunities and challenges in the game. It just makes everything so much more fun to me. I want, do, do any of you guys like set personal challenges like that? I already kind of play Legacy style, but oh hey the good witch arrived. I love how she just lands. Oh wonderful, so all of her neighbors showed up. That's fantastic. Now I really hope this turns out to be like a mouth-watering salad. It has the good food in it. Oh, Natalie is not- or excuse me, I guess Erica doesn't like the <laughs> witch. That's pretty awesome. She's like, I don't believe in magic, you charlatan. 
Do, do, do. Sorry, zooming in. Look at their faces. The two old ladies. Masters in their own fields, facing off. So, this is... Oh, yes! Look, 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 look! It's a sparkling salad! And this... This is what it was all about. All the hard work. All of the many, many, many days it has taken to get everything prepared to get the garden up to run around being a barista to earn enough money for tomato seeds it was all for this it was all so that she could have this lady right here who I'm going to select because she doesn't usually eat food come over well, everyone wants to be best friends with Natalie that's pretty cool sit down and eat a salad. Wow. No one likes the witch apparently. I guess it isn't the smartest thing to come and be a witch when you're in a science community like this. But Natalie and the witch get along even though Natalie also doesn't believe the witch is who she says she is. The good witch. She's like, okay, eat my salad and give me my money already. I'm ready to open my store. Oops, there we go. What do you think? Is it tangy enough? I added some ginger sauce. The first critical bite is about to be taken. Like that. There we go. The first critical bite of salad. So we can tell what Erica Eureka thinks. Is she gonna give you your money? Will she d dedicate that $10,000 grant to you so you can open your store, my dear? We'll have to see. Erica took the bite. Does she like it? She's going back for more. I would say she likes it. And that food is so filling. I love it. All right, now while she finishes up, because Natalie is already full. I mean, it does not take much to get full on this kind of stuff. Meanwhile, they're chit-chatting. Natalie, sit down until Erica's done. It's rude to leave your benefactor. When she's in the middle of talking up, she was like, yeah, I'll give you the money. Why not? <laughs> what is it? This is a random town. He shows up. Hey, guys. Can I join the party? There we go. Well, we don't want to have the pollution, so... Where are you going with that, Cecilia? She's like, I'll finish it! We really want to... Okay, but you gotta give me the money. I love it. It's exactly like they're talking about what they need to be talking about. The environment, the grant that now she's going to be given by the Eureka Foundation to open up her own restaurant. They're discussing details about... The money, I think. <laughs> oh, awesome! Cecilia is talking about how she's been doing gardening. Earning some money. Valerie, come on. Be polite. Oh, no, a dog. A dog named Agnes. Where's Agnes herself? In the bathroom. I guess even witches need to pop over there now and then. Hmm, and they're getting along. Good, just keep the dog outside. You know, I think you'd be so happy. Seal the deal. Even though, you know, she's totally like technically your boss and the mayor of your town and everything. Just give her a friendly hug. Be like, I'm so glad. Oh, look at all those silly people. Cecilia, do you want to greet anybody? She's like, I haven't been able to talk very well with some of these people. Go ahead and no, I want Newton. That's better. Tell a joke to Newton. Get him away from the books. There we go. This is so exciting. I don't think you need to instruct a plant sim in the nature hobby, honey. <laughs> That's pretty much all they are. Oh wow. There's some interesting reading going on here.
there we go. It's just so nice. Go ahead and say like, I'm so glad you're, wait, how, nope. Valerie will, it's so weird how Sims are like, I don't like being complimented. You appreciate a Sim when you have some low uh, social points and then you're in trouble. Why don't you go ahead and, uh oh. Honey, you behave yourself, that's all I'm saying. That was rude, Erica. I'm not gonna let you annoy Cecilia. She's working hard. Well, she's at a party at her boss's house and probably still getting paid for her time. You know what I mean. And Zydra is just busy with the book. She's like, I'm learning fascinating things. Erica! Oh, well, I guess she needed to juice to wash down that awesome salad that is totally going to let our beloved little Natalie open her own business finally. Cecilia is just so cute. She's constantly talking about meeting new people and people she knows. She just seems like a really happy social sim. Alright. Meanwhile... Why don't... Oh, that dog is outside again. That's okay. Why don't we celebrate... I know this is going to seem kind of weird, but we'll, we'll roll with it. Let's celebrate with a water balloon fight. It's a nice day out. That's an awesome thing to do for our benefactor over here. Because plant sims do very well when you do a water balloon fight. <laughs> and you can get all sorts of sims wrapped up in it. And that's what I really like. So they're going out into the backyard to start a water balloon fight. And... Well, let's let them start it. We can't invite anybody yet. And what I really love is it raises the relationship points with, like, everybody. Also, that teach me the way of the light. Do you guys think that I should have Natalie learn magic? I'm thinking I probably will, but she won't think of it as magic. She'll just think of it as, like, that old lady gave her a book. And it makes good fiction, if nothing else. And if she ever does cast spells, she won't realize what she did. She'll just be like, huh, that's an odd coincidence. There we go. And now everybody is busy playing. Newton, come on, join us. Jump in. There's enough room. See, I love it, because everyone just looks like they're having so much fun. Newton's like, I'm good. And look at all those relationship points going up. Everybody's busy chit-chatting and getting to know each other on some level. Party shouldn't be a snoozer. Everyone's having a good time. Oh well. Sometimes I think that the party bar is just like, kind of kooky. Oh yeah. Multiple relationship. I mean, see, it's just a great, great way to really quickly build the relationship panel. Because, like, everybody who's in there is going up and up and up as we get more and more sims involved and time goes on a bit longer. And they just seem to be having fun. It's an all-lady water bloom party. Newton, I really thought you'd stick around. He's like, oh, I'm gonna try some of the mouth-watering salad. Sweet. The mouth-watering kind of food is the only kind that Natalie is going to serve. She is not for anything less than thriving or mouth-watering food in her, in her shop. She wants to show off the best of what organic produce can provide. I think she's going to stick mostly to like produce and things like that too. Alright, and we'll stop this and run over here and talk with Nat or Valerie to try to raise. It's a snoozer party, whoops. Don't know why. They'll exchange a little gossip. Let's see, can I make them friends? Slather on a few compliments. Oh man, <laughs> it's getting late. I think we ran out of money to pay Cecilia with. I think we'll give her $200 for today. Be like, there you go, Cecilia. We actually sincerely don't have enough money. Come on. Yeah, we should be best friends someday. I would love that. I know we just met recently, but since we all live in the same little town, 
Well, you know, you can see my house from here, I can see your house from there. Fantastic! No need to lock the doors here, crime's pretty low when you know everybody. Oh yeah, low crime. Not to mention, you know, my father-in-law totally is keeping an eye on everything. Head of the SCIA, you know? He makes people disappear. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, not bad party. Victory! It's not a roof raiser. It's not a good time. But it's not a bad time either. Can we get away with a friendly hug? Natalie is big into earthy hugs. And real quick. Yay! He's drinking some milk. She's eating some of the delicious muff boring salad. We'll pay her real quick. In random items that come close to what I think we owe her. That's 120. What is this? That's too random. That's a truck. <laughs> what? Oh, it's a mirror. <laughs> I was so confused. 120, 120. 120. Yeah, let's pair with that. That's cute. And then... Do -do -do. Let's do 120. I want to pair 250. All together. There's that. So 30 left. And kidless. Yes, Munchkin? Later, yeah. Hoo hoo. Fifteen. Random things. There we go. I don't know. I find this way of doing it, um, like more fun than. <laughs> <laughs> normal ways of just handing over money, to be honest. And then we will deselect her. No, no, I don't want to force her. Unselectable. Turn that off. And the party will end. They're standing in the herb garden. My guest had a fantastic time. Alright, party's over. We paid Cecilia. Now we have no money, except for the fact that we're about to have a lot of money. But let's hurry and clear out what's left to be harvested in the garden. And after that, we'll get started on the first shop that sells anything in Laodicea. Oh no, really? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my gosh! <sighs> Natalie just turned into a plant sim. I gotta, I gotta think about this. Hmm, and she can't tend that plant at all. Well. Hmm. When the game throws something at you and you're not sure if it fits your plot, what to do? And by plot, I mean just that plant sims are pretty special in my game. So, I'm going to end the video here since I have to investigate this situation. And we'll pick up when it's time to show off the shop or figure out what to do with plant sim Natalie. Hmm. Do you stay a plant sim or not a plant sim? That is the question. I think I'm going to change her back because in my game, just plant simness is not something you pick up and drop so easily. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little special object right here. This is a painting from On the Sims 2 uh, made by Triag, and it transforms Sims into the different supernaturals and also cures them. So I'm actually going to cure her plant some uh, traits 
you know, if the stairway wasn't in the way. Sorry, honey. Because in my game, to become a plant sim, you really, like, you either are... Oh, Avast virus database has been updated. Thank you, Avast, for letting me know that. Annoying thing. There we go. She can keep the cool outfit, but <laughs> in in my game, to become a plant sim, it really means that you are, um, wow, she just really can't interact with that plant. I'll have to figure out what to do about that. It means that, that you're something special, uh, and Natalie is very special. But I don't think that she has it in her to become plant sim. She just admires them, since that's one of her turn-ons, apparently. But I don't think that she's going to be one. I think that I still have to work out the details. But plant simness isn't something that just happens, you know? Especially not with pesticides, because I'm pretending that was a pesticide she was using. I have all these ladybug, uh... Ladybugs scattered around, but it wasn't helping over here, so I guess I have to add another ladybug thing. Oh, that reminds me. And we're gonna repeat that till we get to 10,000. Voila. I know there's other ways to do it, but I just find Kaching to be the easiest. Now she has a $10,000 grant, and in just a second, she's gonna go inside. Well, and answer the phone, and then she's going to buy her lot, and I will actually transport us over there so you guys can see what it's going to start out as, and then you can see what it ends up as. So who's calling? She's like, well, it's been a really busy evening. I could have sworn for a second there I was one with plants. It was all in your head, Natalie. Okay, they're talking about how new, how hot Newt Murek is. That is Valerie Newton's wife on the phone, by the way. Yes, you guys just met. Talking about the security of the area again. Wonderful, wonderful. Hang up. And... Business. Real estate. Purchase community lot. Cute little phone. Because all that 10000 she personally has like $22. And the 10,000 is gonna go to opening up the sprouted community lot. Yep. Gee, it costs so much. <laughs> but alright guys, and we'll see you in a little bit. I'm gonna leave you with this little factoid today. Did you know that the creature that lives at the highest altitude is a jumping spider that lives on Mount Everest. It's really quite adorable actually and it is accompanied by some springtails and gnats, little flies that also live at that altitude. It's really interesting to me that the creatures that survive in those kinds of harsh environments are spiders, springtails, and gnats because the springtails and spiders are the ones that you find in another kind of harsh environment inside of caves where almost nothing else can survive. So they're really kind of rugged little explorers in their own. All right, I'm gonna get Natalie's house cleaned up and then we'll send her over to open up the Sprouted store. Thank you for joining us for this wonderful, monumental, slightly quiet and relaxing episode of Siri Sims. For more Sims and science with a bit of storytelling, join us next time.